Hey, Will. Kyle here from Adelaide Vehicle Centre. Just sitting in that Mitsubishi Triton that we were talking about last night. Just going to do a quick video running through the features and the condition of the car for you. So we'll start off down here. Got a multi-level um, centre console here. So quite handy. You've got a deep compartment here for putting bigger things in. You've got two cup holders here up the front. Your four-wheel drive selection. Pretty straightforward and easy to use. So for example, we just flick it over here. We're in four high and you've got four low um, to the sides as well. It gives you an indication up on the screen when it's when it's going into it. you just got to roll forward to activate it. We've got the six-speed manual here um, with reverse in the top left. Uh, yep, yeah, top left. So what we, what we do is put it in reverse and it's going to come up with the reverse camera on the screen as well, which is a really handy thing to have when you're driving a car this big. You're going to be able to back up real nice and close to something without hitting it. We've got in the Tritons, you've got the ability to turn the passenger airbag on and off as well. Um, this is just in case you have a baby in the front seat, um, so that because you can't have a baby in the front seat with the airbag on. So it's going to give you an indication if you have turned it off, as it is a pretty important safety feature. Under here, we've got USB input for the head unit, so you can um, have your iPhone or whatever plugged into it and it will come straight through the head unit. We've got an indication of the um, seat belts here, so Muscleized sitting in the passenger seat, it's got no seat belt on at the moment. The car's not very happy about that. And same within the dash, it's the same that I don't have one as well. We've got dual zone climate control, so you can actually do a different temperature on each side. So if I bump off from this side, um, the passenger side's completely separate to the driver's side, so this is actually a higher temperature now. So pretty easy to use. Bring it back down, it's gonna be the same. <laughs> now on the, um, the head unit itself, it is a touch screen. So we've got your FM and AM radio here, and then your different inputs here as well. So you can actually still do CD at the top. You've got digital radio, which is handy, a little bit higher quality, um, a bit like going from standard TV to, to HD when, when we all made that move. Um, you've got Bluetooth audio as well, so you connect your phone up and play Bluetooth, uh, sorry, music over Bluetooth, as well as take calls and answer calls. You do that through the multifunction steering wheel over here. So you've got your answer and hang up buttons on the steering wheel. You can actually do your volume and skip through your tracks on the steering wheel as well. And on the right hand side, we've got cruise control, really easy to use. Green indicator in the dash to say what it's on. Um, and then you just use this to set it. Uh, these are actually fitted with limit as well. So you can actually limit the car to a speed. So if you set 60 on the limit uh, through here, it's not gonna let the car go over 60. You can have your foot flat to the floor and it's not actually gonna let you go over that, which is great, you're a young bloke. So it's gonna keep you in intact, keep your license together. You're not gonna get in any trouble. Um, to the right of this, we've actually got uh, auto fold in mirrors as well. So when you lock the car in, these mirrors are actually going to fold in, but if I hit the button, it'll do it as well. So that's pretty nifty if you're in a tight space. Um, we've got traction control button over here um, and power windows, which we touched on before, and power door locks as well. So when we step out the car, I'll just get Muscle to show you the condition of the seats and the carpet as well. And we'll move around to the front of the car. So a common thing with the Tritons is actually to have like tears in the seats along here. I've seen it in almost every single one I've seen. This one is actually not torn at all. Um, no signs of wear, which is really good. Now it's, a, it's a GLS model, so that it's a little bit higher than the standard model. That means that it's going to come in a colour, so it's got this nice sort of bronze colour at the moment. You have the nice alloy wheels, you have chrome accents around the place, as well as your side steps and your sports parts. Um, and this one's actually fitted with a bull bar as well, so we'll make our way around the front. So, really nice heavy duty bull bar, good for where you're out. There's probably a lot of kangaroos around at night. Um, under here, we've got the engine, so, really well kept. Got we actually have a structural guarantee at Adelaide Vehicle Centre, so we guarantee all our cars haven't been in an accident that affects the structural integrity. So just stuff like bolt heads on the guards and under the bonnet, make sure that they haven't been tampered with in any way. Um, as that would be a sign that it's been in an accident. Just pop this down. The front of the car seems it's free from any stone chips. I can't see any along here move down the side of the car. Show you the rear interior. The seats honestly don't really look like they've been used. Um, 
there is a little bit of a scuff scuffing along along the door here which we'll show you down the side to the top is all fine a little bit of the slight marking along the top of it I think to be expected it is a it's a work car in some sense in the tub we've actually got a triton um, rubber floor mat as well so you're going to protect the paint at the bottom down the back here you can see got the reverse camera um, the actual back of the tailgate's fine now a lot of the time you're going to see dents and stuff along them from when people have dropped it onto something but just along the top there's a couple of little marks as well you got the tow bar here as well so it's going to be handy for towing, towing things out where you are come around and show you the rest of the car as well so all in really really good condition we can't see any sort of marks in the paint and just around the driver's interior. Again, real picky, there's just a little bit of colouring around, or miscolouring around the wheel here as well. But overall, presents really, really well. So, hopefully, that gives you a better idea what our car uh, looks like the condition it's in and the features it has will. I'll send this off to you. We'll have a chat soon and see what we can do. Thanks mate.